Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. to the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, on the other end of the line is Larry Bubbles Brown, who said he's afraid when he hears the word files. Files, yeah. Why? Because I know it's going to say, in uh, computer jargon, it means something I can't deal with. Uh, last <laughs> year, I got a, uh, a handheld tape recorder, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, this can't be that hard. Then I looked at it. It said something about files, and nothing worked. I remember I just smashed it against the wall. That's how was it all digital? Is that what it was? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it wasn't recording on tape. It was recording on a file. Yeah. So uh, so, well, so why didn't you just? But I couldn't figure it out. Why and didn't you I just call me? Reason. Why didn't you just call me, and we would have worked you through it, Larry Bubbles Brown? I guess I could. So someone gave me an old uh, cassette recorder. So. Oh really? That replaced. Oh, it, oh yeah. really? Okay. All right. You know what most people would do with a cassette recording? Yeah. They, they, they would <laughs> put it into a file. <laughs> <laughs> I've got. It's got a. It's got three buttons. I think. Uh, put, uh, play, record, stop. I like that. Yes, but. Where where can you use it? Well, you just use it for yourself so you can hear what you've done. Yeah, right. right. You put it. Yeah. You put it. A, a lot of comedians go on stage and they they put their cassette machine on the on the uh, stool and record their set so they can later go back and listen to it. Right. Yeah. Well, this is last year. I was trying to. I did that album last year, so I had to record stuff and try to remember everything. And... I see. But yeah. I'm now getting played on Sirius. So... You're getting played on Sirius. I've got four tracks of the album apparently getting played, so... Oh, okay. Waiting, waiting for the money to come in. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Not if it's playing on Sirius XM. You know. uh, they pay uh, pretty well. It's um, $49 each time a track is played, is what I've heard. I, that seems a little high. That seems very high, because all the internet plays it play less than a penny, so... Yeah, I don't think it'll pay 49. I think that what happens is you're recording and so they just buy a license to play anything that's on a recording. And then it's up to the various organizations that administer that to pay you. And I don't know if it's 49 bucks. That seems uh, I, that seems really high. Listen, to me, I yeah. love you, Larry, and I think you're one of the funniest <laughs> people alive, but I wouldn't pay 49 bucks to play. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they well, get uh, Have you have you seen a check yet? I'm waiting cuz I I'm, I'm getting paid quarterly, so I'll get the first check this month, so I'll find out. But I do know some comics that make 3, 4,000 a month off serious. Really? Yeah. And who are they? People you never heard of, really? Yeah, so I thought, well, maybe there is some money, but M maybe yeah, forty nine dollars to me seems wow, that can't be possible. But that's what I heard. Yeah, it doesn't seem possible either. But what the hell, you know? Take them for every penny you can. Yeah, you know. Um, so uh, you know, but uh, uh, so so the album you you've never talked about the album or plugged it here on the program. No, you know me. Which means you're really non-aggressive about your career. I'm passive-aggressive. <laughs> passive-aggressive. So tell us about the album, Larry. Yeah. Where uh, can we find it? Uh, it's on a file somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't even know where to send people to to find the thing. Really? I've got 50 copies. If someone wants, I'll send them one. <laughs> well, wait a minute. 50 copies of what? A CD? I have a CD, yes. Oh, really? Do you know what you can, it, it is? Okay, it's a. you can get me on Amazon and... Uh, well, let me let me look you up here. Hold on a second. I think, I, I think I'm on Spotify, all those platforms that I know nothing about. 
Oh, really? Because we're on Spotify. Someone told me that they've said, play on um, uh, what's Alexa? If you say, play Larry Bubbles Brown, I popped up. All right, hold on a second. Echo, play Larry Bubbles Brown. Shuffling songs by Larry Bubbles Brown on Amazon Music. Well, there you are. Uh, really? Wow. Yeah, listen, listen. Yeah, there you are. Oh, Ec- <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Echo, stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, and it says dating, and then it says explicit. I didn't know you were an explicit comic. No, actually, the entire album, there's... It's clean, except there's one track where I do the, the thing I used to do with Ruben, dueling porn titles. That's the only thing on there that's really dirty. So. Yeah, but it says that this particular cut called Dating is explicit. I and then it says it's, your, it's, your album is explicit. explicit. Yeah, I don't think so either. But yes, you're there. But well, I'll, I'll show you how important that is. Um, Echo, play Alex Bennett's Ramble. Playing Alex Bennett's Ramble from Apple Podcasts. Playing the latest episode, Alex Bennett's Ramble, December 8th, 2020. Yeah. Wow. See, there we are. There's our show. Echo, stop. Okay. So, there you go. (laughs) You and me, we're 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 going to make Amazon sell so many of those Alexas. I say Alexa because I don't say the real name of it because then that's the word I use to make it go. Um, Well, well, hold on a second. Let me me ask Echo something here. Hold on a second. First, I want to see here. I want to get this louder. Okay. Um, Echo, Larry Bubbles Brown. This might answer your question. According to Wikipedia, Larry Bubbles Brown is a San Francisco-based deadpan self-deprecating comedian and actor. He started doing stand-up in San Francisco in the early 1980s. He began appearing on numerous TV shows such as Evening at the Improv, Make Me Laugh and Others, and made his first appearance on Late Night with David Letterman in 1987. Okay, so do you hear that? See? Yeah. That's, 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 that's actually your, that's your Wikipedia thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Bad. But anyway, so it, 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 Amazon knows who you are. Yeah, Jeff Bezos, he owes us money. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, um, so, uh, yeah, you know. I thought we were going to talk about death. On this. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's talk about death. Well, I'll tell you what. I was going through my almanac again last night. I, I started looking at famous people. Some of these famous people. You know Humphrey Bogart died when he was 57? Really? That scared the hell out of me. Yeah. Oh, well. But he had a good life. He had a great life, I would think. Yeah. Except being married to that bitch. You know. Which which one? Bacall. Oh, is she a bitch? Oh, supposedly she was the queen of bitches. Really? Wow. Yeah. My ex-wife, Ronnie, who did a pre-interview with her for uh, Barbara Walters, said she was one of the most unpleasant women she ever met. You know, so, well, yeah, there you go. But anyway, so Bogart died at what? 57. Wow, wow. And well, you know, when you were a kid, did you ever worry about dying? Uh, I realized that we were going to die, so that got me really depressed, like in first grade, you know. Yeah, and then, uh, because when I first thought about it, I it just scared the crap out of me. That someday, the, the, the reward I get for being born is that I'm going to die. Yeah, yeah. And I had to look forward to that. Now, if I were a aesthetic person, or what do we call it, the, you know, the a touchy-feely person, I would say, well, it's just part of life. But that doesn't explain it to me. I don't want to die. Right. And uh, I remember asking my mother about death because it scared me, and she said, well, 
you know, like standard crap. Well, when you die, then you go to heaven and you live forever. And that made me even more depressed. <laughs> it's not about being in heaven forever. It seems, well, you, it seems very depressing. You know, the thing that I, uh, my father said to me was, well, you know, y- y- you won't find death surprising. You've been there before. Exactly. You know, th- there was a time when we didn't exist. And then that started bothering me. It's just non-existence. Yeah, it's non-existence, and I don't understand non-existence. I, in fact, I the other day I was saying, let me go back, let me try and remember what it was like before I was born. You know, because you gotta, there's something going on in the womb that you gotta, you know, maybe you're playing cards with the uterus or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I can't remember anything. I think before I was about four or five. You, I bet you remember earlier, right? I have a memory when I was three years old, our dog bit me. So uh, that's my first memory of life. Okay. Is your dog biting you? At, at, three, at three years old. Have you yeah. been, been afraid of dogs ever since? I have, and they had to, they had to get rid of the dog. And, uh, oh, really? What did they do, yeah. put him down? No, they just gave him to somebody else, oh. but he was apparently, I was new, and he was jealous, so. Yeah, well, they put the dog down. They told him they liked the cat better. <laughs> uh, uh, I, uh, I, I barely remember uh, almost drowning. I, I d- drowned in some water, and I remember bubbles all over my face. That's all I remember. But I think I was like about five then, four or five. Uh so- so are you afraid of water now? No, no, I became uh, I was afraid for a while and then one day my father said, "Well, to hell with it." And he pushed me in the pool and I started swimming and ever after that you couldn't get me out of the water. You know. Okay. So I I love swimming. Uh but uh you know, I mean uh, uh, I I can't remember that. There's a movie coming out called Soul. It's a Pixar picture. And it's about a jazz musician who dies, goes to heaven, finds a way out of heaven, and winds up somewhere else. And that somewhere else is the great before. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> in other words, now you're not going to the great beyond. Yeah. You came from the great beyond. Now you're in the great before. And um, this is where all the pre-babies are. And I like that concept of the great before. That's a great concept, yeah. yeah. But I still don't understand it. It still doesn't make me calmer. And I every every morning I wake up and I say, is this the day I'm going to die? You know, what is this thing yeah. I have on my eyes are burning today? I'm going, it's, gonna, it's a brain tumor and it's going to kill me. You know. <laughs> because you always, you're always trying to figure out, I said to my doctor, you know, when I was going to get the, the radiation and stuff, and he said, yeah, you have, uh, you have, you uh, have, uh, uh, prostate cancer, I said, is this going to kill me? And he looked at me with a quizzical look on his face and went, no. But, you know, I just think, it, uh, to me, life has been constantly out to get me. Is that is that a bad way way to feel? Or do you much feel- the way I feel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, we. Oh, I think one time didn't we talk about famous last words of people? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was Marlon Brando who said on his deathbed. So that was it. No, he <laughs> talked about he not on his deathbed, but he said one day you'll be on your deathbed and, and you'll, you'll look say, back of your life and go, "What the fuck was that all about?" Yeah, that was it. That was it. And you know something. It's true. He's right. He's so right. I mean, really, I look back at my life, and I've had a pretty good life, you know. I mean, I could gripe about it, but there are a lot of people who had bad lives, and I would be demeaning them. Um, but I say, you know, what what the hell was that all about? You know, it was it was a useless exercise in peddling for, well, right now, o- almost 81 years, doing basically busy work and pursuing things that really don't have any reason. You don't have any reason to have to pursue. Is any of this making sense? Yeah, but uh, I don't, I think you're, 
Mm-hmm. But you should be, I think you've had a very cool life. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why I want to keep living it, you know? Yeah, you, uh, you've you been in the public eye for, yeah. what, six, 60 years? Well, a l- little less than that because I haven't been in the public eye for quite a while now. So, you know, what the hell? Hey, I, we've run out of time, and we just were getting to the most depressing we part of this there, discussion. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez well, almighty. We can pick up depression next time. Larry, we really, we, I think we bring people up to a level that they haven't been brought to because they feel better about life because we are so feel so miserable about ours. Yeah, they go, woo, that could have been us. <laughs> woo, that could have been us. Hey, Larry, talk to you in a couple of weeks. You got it. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry... Yes, they call him Larry Bubbles Brown. Have a good time, Larry. Stay safe. Stay safe. Available on (laughs) Echo. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, okay. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, yes. Larry Bubbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Uh, you know, I, I, I always, you know, I'm always forgetting something lately. You know, I always screw up on something lately. And and tonight, I suddenly realized when I was looking at our at our chat room on our um, uh, what page for uh, for YouTube, uh, they were saying, oh, it's it's got to be a repeat. It says two thousand, and sure enough, it said two thousand because I forgot to change it a few days ago when the new year came in. There's always, there's always something you forget to do, okay? So that was one I did. You know, I was, I was thinking today, let me just say a few things before we launch into our, uh, our citizen panel. Uh, I, I, I was thinking about the, what went on this week, um, and um, I'm, I'm, I get into less rants lately, and I don't really get into them. I don't know why. I just I'm, guess I'm too tired or too lazy or something. But I just had to say this, you know, we really, really turned the tide here in this country this week. This is a whole new set of circumstances. Do you realize that what we had going on here was absolutely, it was an insurrection. And uh, it was an insurrection instituted by the President of the United States. You know, no matter, I've gone through good presidents, I've gone through bad presidents. I've gone through presidents I've absolutely hated. George Bush was one of them. Ronald Reagan was another. But I never thought any of them would put this democracy in danger. And this guy was putting it in danger from day one. How all these people could defend him all along the way considering what he was doing. I mean, I, I, I thought he was capable of terrible stuff, okay? Of, of terrible self-serving stuff. That's even worse. But I didn't think it would come th- go this far. I didn't think he would go to the point where he would tell people, hey, storm the Capitol and take it over. And, you know, I mean, that's what he was implying. No, he didn't say that exactly. But he gave everybody a sense of permission to do that, and he was doing that because he wanted to maintain power, and that's what dictators do in a banana republic. Now, there's talk now of uh, impeaching him, and uh, I, you know, under normal conditions, I would probably say to you, well, you know, come on, he's only got, what, is it 11 days, 12 days, something like that left? Uh, why impeach him now? And the answer is, we impeach him now because we can't let him get away with it, you know? And I hope they do impeach him. Um, You know, under normal circumstances, I would say, ah, it's a waste of time. He won't be president anymore in 11 days. You know, you got to put him in a position where he can't do anything. He can't do jack shit about anything. Well, just demonetize the show now. Um, And, 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 you know... He can't do anything about it if we have him under impeachment. Uh, And uh, I think the military is wise to him. They are not going to do anything. But here's what went on that's very disturbing. Everybody knew that something might happen on 
on Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Yeah. God, no, it was, it was Wednesday. God, the week has just gone. <laughs> okay. On Wednesday, we knew something would, might happen on Wednesday because he was inviting all these thugs to Washington, D.C. Uh, and um, we knew something might happen, and it did. But the Capitol wasn't prepared for it. Now, I, I wonder why they weren't prepared for it. I mean, I'm getting paranoid about this that there was a conspiracy to make the capital vulnerable for these people, uh, for uh, vulnerable, so these people could do what they did. They were going in there. The, the D.C., uh, the Capitol Police, were taking selfies with them, okay? And you just wonder, you know, what, what, what was happening here? And I think there's a conspiracy among some of the people who were supposed to police the Capitol, who were pro-Trump, to let these guys just come in and do what they were going to do. I mean, I, 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 tell me I'm paranoid. Tell me I'm, I'm crazy. The other thing that's driving me nuts is I'm sick and tired of these people um, uh, saying, well, you know, these rioters probably weren't uh, Trump people. They were probably Antifa trying to make Trump look bad. And I've heard this on Newsmax. I heard this on, um, uh, what's that other uh, channel? Uh, uh, America, whatever, America, uh, whatever that other one is, other nitwit right-wing channel is. And then Fox, I even heard it. Now, I keep hearing this over and over and over and over again about Antifa this, Antifa that. Tell me, have you ever seen Antifa anywhere? Oh, no, they say that the, the riots in Seattle were caused by Antifa. But was any, did anybody have like a flag saying Antifa on it? I mean, usually, you know, when ISIS goes in somewhere and makes trouble, they got a flag. God knows... The people who attacked the uh, the Capitol had flags. They had Confederate flags and American flags, which they were, uh, I think, demeaning. Uh, uh, but, I mean, has anybody seen Antifa? Antifa, although I am the leader of it, Antifa does not exist, okay? It has existed over the years, I think, into the 1800s. These were basically, it was a basically anti-fascist groups, people who fought fascism, and they were known as Antifa. But, you know, I mean, hey, if anybody would know where to find Antifa, where can I sign up, I'd be the first one to be there. And I don't know where I can find them. There is no Antifa. And how much longer are the news people going to play into this myth that there is an Antifa? So, you know, I, I'm just... All this just driving me nuts, right? We said earlier I was afraid of dying, but maybe now is a good time to. Anyway, let me uh, let me admit all these people into the uh, into the. I uh, get them out of the waiting room and get them onto the show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, here here we go. You want to see it happen? Watch. See this? Okay. And then I go uh, like uh, like this. Okay. And uh, we should start having people jumping in like crazy here. See, look at that. Isn't that fun? Yeah, okay. Uh, we got uh, Charlie Wallace, and we got Jeff, and we got uh, Robert uh, um, uh, Natali, and we got, uh, let's see here. Okay, that's who we got so far. And uh, Trucker Steve and his dog, his little fun dog, Um uh, Known as Rocky, and they are in the truck, right? Right, Trucker uh, Steve. Yeah, I'm in Winnipeg. You're in Winnipeg, so you're you're close to home and on your way out, or are you on your way in and finished with a run? British Columbia. Huh? You went? Oh, you went going to, to British Columbia. Going okay. to British Columbia. Oh, okay, okay. So we uh, um, jump in when you can. You're a little breaking up a little bit, but I I know that you get kind of dicey Wi-Fi sometimes. Dicey Wi-Fi? I used to know the guy named Dicey Wi-Fi. No. Anyway. Uh, hey, you were doing famous last words with uh, with Bubbles. I have a favorite hey, almost Kevin. last words. 
Almost last words? The story, yeah. It's W.C. Fields was yeah. a noted atheist mm -hmm. and, in fact, spent his lifetime putting down religion. Yeah. So now he's on his deathbed, Yeah. and his agent is given to understand Fields has hours to go. You better go and say your goodbyes. Mm -hmm. And so he shows up, opens the door to Fields' room, and there's Fields sitting up in bed reading the Bible. And so his agent says to him, Bill, what the hell are you doing reading the Bible? And Field says, I'm looking for loopholes. <laughs> I'm looking for loopholes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's good. That's good. Uh, I, I, I see that uh, Schmoody is here tonight. Kathleen. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, well, uh, thank God we still have a democracy, I think. <laughs> Ain't over yet. We Boy, can keep it. I tell you, that that was every bad movie I've ever seen. I'm telling totally. you, it just was. It was crazy. It still well, is. You know crazy. what? I have, I have some. I have some wex, <clears throat> and I do not like wex. You know what wex are? Wecs? No, I have no idea what wecs are. White evangelical Christians. So all hell's breaking loose at the freaking White House. And uh, the, the first thing they post is like a false flag. Oh, Antifa, this and that. And, and of course, I put the laugh emoji and I go, listen, Antifa, they're not dumb enough to uncover themselves. They're all in black and they are fully covered. Trump people are so prideful that they're just like, hey, what? Look, Look at, at me. me. I, I, was on t I was on TV. Come and arrest me. <laughs> and then they're all crying, bah, 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 because they're they're all getting arrested and wiped out. The job, all their jobs are like, ah, sorry, you're on your own. Oh boy, yeah, I I know, I it it it's, I'm it, embarrassed. What well, who are you embarrassed by? By all their bullshit. Oh, I'm not embarrassed at all. I'm I'm happy to see they're showing themselves up up to be as stupid as they really are. You know. Yeah, but as a country, it's pathetic. Yeah. Huh. Huh. We look worse than a banana republic. Totally. We yeah, look... Africa said, who's the shithole now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> I wonder, you know, the rest of the world looking at this yeah. might must have just been insane, you know? Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're looking at it, and they're going... The fuck's going on there? You know, they they never expected that to happen with us. We that just wasn't us. But that's uh, us we now. Got, we got a call from Australia, mm -hmm. some from friends there, mm -hmm. and they go, "What the fuck is going on there?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is something I think. You know, I imagine that Trump could do a lot of damage, uh, oh, yeah. or do a lot of dangerous things. But I didn't think he would go this far. I just didn't. I did. You did. I from day one. I said that back in 2016. He was going to fuck this <clears throat> country up. Well, you, but, the, you know, the thing is that I, you have the idea, yeah. you know, that this republic is, is uh, protected against such actions. But apparently Except it's the not. the Republicans were going yeah. along with everything. And they had power. They had the House back in 2016 and the Senate. Yep. 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 Well, but quickly, let me just ask Kathleen something. Where are you, Kathleen? Gualala. You're in you're in Gualala. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're living there now. Well, no. Oh, well, no. We're we're haul, we haul, we're hauling up like this weekend and next weekend we're hauling up the last of our stuff. The whole upstairs is empty, new floors, new carpeting, and then uh, we're pretty much living in the family room. Oh, okay. So that's the family room where you are now. No, we're in Gualala right now. No, but you're in the family room. We're in the basement. You're in the basement. That, well, that would be yeah. the... Okay, yeah, you got a pool table, and you got... This yeah. is what I can't wait to get. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's Sean's man cave. <clears throat> it's Sean's it's, man cave. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just, um, it just, I, I, I don't know. You know, it just, it, it, to begin with, this whole thing with Antifa, let's stop it already. 
There, yeah. the, it, Robert, have you you know if, if you wanted to join Antifa, you would go join it, right? If you could, absolutely. If you could, yeah. do you know where, where do to I pay my dues? Do you know where to find them? No, 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 I don't. And why? They don't exist. They don't exist. Well, they don't exist. Yeah. But you know, when it, when are the people on the news channels going to go? Oh, by the way, just for your information, uh, when we mention Antifa, they don't exist. But no, everybody goes, oh, Antifa, they must be. You, if Antifa existed, you could actually go online and I think type in Antifa and you would actually get a uh, URL. Wait a minute, let me see. Antifa, how's it spelled? A-N-T-I-F-A? Yep. Yes, anti, anti-fascist. Okay, Antifa.com. Does anybody have it? Restoring Sounds American good. Leadership, COVID-19, Oh, but it goes to buildbackbetter.gov if you put in antifa.com. So it actually goes to a Biden site. So I'm sure some right winger set that up. Some right winger set that up. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. exist, folks. Yeah, where can you donate, right? Yeah, yeah where where can you Everyone donate? Everyone takes donations. Yeah, where, Everyone takes donations. where can you join them to storm the barricades? There is no Antifa. But where it's can it. you get your uh, fur coat thingy with the horns? Yeah, with the horns, that that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, yeah, yeah. He's, but it fits. Trump's huh? entire presidency was was to stoke fear of the other. Yeah. You know, stoke fear of Mexicans, stoke fear of immigrants, stoke fear of blacks, stoke fear of, you know, always fear of the other. And then his followers ascribe every single thing that's wrong in their lives mm -hmm. to this, you know, this magical other. Yeah. And, and that's the reason why they have the problems they do. It's, it's very effective. Actually. There is no Antifa, folks. No. You know, plain and simple. I mean, there may be some people who ascribe to... I mean, what's so bad about being anti-fascist, okay? Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. That's a good idea. That, you know? But they, they mean yeah. liberal and socialist and all these words, just terrible words. Oh, this is going to be a socialist country. Hey, it already is. Come on, your police department is socialism. Your fire department is socialism. You know? Uh, your 401k fund at work is socialism. You know? I mean, come on. You know, we have quite a bit of socialism. So uh, uh, now, uh, um, Alan was a policeman. Are you still a policeman? Are you still considered a policeman? No. 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 Um, Retired civilian. Mm -hmm. What did you think about what you saw the other day? <clears throat> I thought it was great. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought it was crazy. Mm. I thought it's too bad. You know, I, I think the Capitol Police were underprepared. Mm -hmm. And as stupid as Trump, uh, to not believe that this was going to happen when they had, you know, stuff all over social media that this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Trump was putting it out a week, week and a half early, mm -hmm. and uh, they should have had SWAT teams and mutual aid and um, I don't know. It, it got way out of control. Nobody should have been able to penetrate the building. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, do you think? Do you think, as I believe, it may have been benign neglect? That no, it was it was deliberate. It was they were ordered to stand down. I think Trump pulled all federal forces away from the Capitol. Trump is behind this. Trump did it. Well, there's no question that Trump was 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 complicit in all of this. You know, um, I, I mean, he should be put up on charges of treason. Time and again. To send National Guard, and they refused to let him. Hmm. The Capitol Police refused to let him send I, National Guard. I like how Trump took credit for bringing the National Guard. Yeah, and it was actually Pence that called. Right, right. Yeah. Now what's under? Uh, but but yeah. under what authority did Pence I, issue I the National Guard? Yeah. I was under water. Yeah, somebody that had to do it. He has zero authority. Yes, that is Trump, Trump had zero authority to <laughs> tell him not to do it. He had to. Uh, they had to ask for a national guard to come from somewhere else. Okay, and I think perhaps they put a call. Uh, Pence could have put a call into that state and said, "Could you send us some of your national guard?" But under what authority? 
Would you rather half our I, I mean, I'm just, I mean, let's, if, let's, if we're going to break it down and get to the root cause of the issue, which is the president of the United States, he is the commander of the United States military. Mm -hmm. And if Vice President Pence says, send in the National Guard to this, that, or the other, mm -hmm. and the president of the United States then says, don't send the National Guard into this, that, or the other, mm -hmm. which one of those two people do the commanders listen to? The National and if Guard the situation is, is the out of control, and the military. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Alan says that the they aren't part of the military. Oh, oh. are they? The National Guard. They can what, the National be. Guard. Bush made them part of the military you know, and sent them over to they, Iraq. The National Guard doesn't go to war. Right. They did during the Iraq War. I know because be. my fucking brother was in the army. They, they can be yes, federalized. But, but that, they can be no, federalized and pulled in the into regular to do army. things, right? Yeah, but they can be federalized. Yeah, you're they right. They can be federalized and pulled into the regular army by executive order or by order okay. of the commander in chief of the armed forces, okay. which is the they president are, of the United States. The National Guard is the reserve part of the United States Army. Yes. I am absolutely sure we had them in Iraq. But me too. I'm 100% positive. Me too. Positive. Yes. Absolutely. No, you're absolutely no, you're absolutely right, but they made an exception to do that. Okay. We just call them up and make them I mean active duty. I mean, yeah. part of the understanding that you have when you're a member is that you can be called to active duty by, you yeah. know, just be ordered to active duty. I mean, that that's that's the the part of it that it is. I mean, now, in the district, you know, the district National Guard basically falls under the command and control of the president of the United States mm -hmm. because D.C. is not a state. You know, it's it's the one anomaly in the in the in the 50 states. But, yeah. you know, the, the thing is, and a lot of misinformation about some of this that people don't understand is, you know, with with the some of the shit that went on. And we're going to have to break some of this down because I tried to listen to Wednesday night show before you came on here tonight and i had to text kevin and tell him that you know some of the stuff that came out of phil's mouth I, i'm just i'm not able to deal with i mean i'm glad that he <laughs> half-heartedly decided to disavow some of that stuff that went on but he, he, he's just like and then i heard he made some other statement thursday so i haven't heard that yet we can get to that later but you know it, it, it was the same as Trump. One sentence talking about how it was bad, but then the next sentence has to have a but, but the elections. I, I mean, it's, yeah. it's time to move on from, you know, in the last 30 seconds of the game, the referees made a call that totally fucked our team over and we lost. But fuck all well, the uh, to all you people, there. all you people out there who are pro Trump or have been pro Trump. It's time for you to say, you know, I made a big mistake when I voted for him. Mm. Yes, you know, all of us make mistakes. But it's good to know and admit them, so that we don't make that same mistake again. And I, and I don't have I don't have a hypocrisy problem on my end because I'm extremely confident that the things I've said on this program in the past were very fair to my independent judgment of Donald Trump and the situation when it came to impeachment, uh, when it came to uh, these ridiculous notions before about the Twenty Fifth Amendment, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So I don't have a problem with it, but how the man hasn't been removed from office yet is is a, is a travesty of constitutional proportions that I, I I just I cannot understand. And there and there is still some misinformation about that. I hear some people on television this morning, smart people, talking about how, well, I don't really know if the twenty fifth was really meant. That was only really meant if someone were <laughs> sick or had a heart attack or a stroke was incapacitated. Well, let's read it here. Okay. Well, let's read it. Whenever the vice president and a majority of either the principal officers of the executive department or other such body appointed by Congress, by law, may provide, transmit to the president pro tem of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives their written declaration mm -hmm. that the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, the vice president shall immediately assume powers and duties of the office office as acting president unable to discharge his duties uh, unable can mean mental incapacity mm -hmm. has asked for something that is totally and completely asinine such as woke up at seven in the morning and said 
let's launch a nuclear weapon on London and <laughs> Toronto. I just don't like them anymore. Yeah. Uh, it can mean, uh, I've decided this morning that I don't like Jews. Why? I'd like to order the United States military to round them all up and kill them. I mean, what? Okay, so now let's let's turn the page. Let's 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 just hang on. I mean, it's we're not done with our constitutional lesson for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> no, Josh. This is fun. Made to the states by the Constitution of the United States. You, you're covering your microphone when you're doing that. We can't. It g- g- gives permission that every state shall have the following. The federal government guarantees that every state shall have the following three things. A Republican form of representation and type of government. Okay? Mm-hmm. That it will protect each state against invasion. And if the legislature or governor, when the legislature shall not be convened, request it, protection against domestic violence such as riots or mob actions. Mm-hmm. Now, what the fuck went on on Wednesday? Sounds familiar. And the federal oh, government yes. guarantees protection Riot, mob action. Things in the Constitution of the United States. And that protection was not provided. It was, in fact, no. refused, delayed, ignored. A yep. delay or an a, ignoring of the putting down of a mob action, a riot, really an insurrection, <laughs> it is, is a failure to discharge the duty of your office. It's an inability, okay? He was unable to discharge the duty of his office. And all it would have taken was a few brave people to look at each other and say, this has gone on for long enough, and we're taking command. It is Pulled not set up any different than a, than a, than a, a, a battleship of war. Mm-hmm. Okay, And I'm not the only one to say this. General Colin Powell has said this. General McCaffrey has said this. And in a year or two, when he retires, General Milley will tell you this. It is set up no different than a ship of war where the commander is unable to fulfill his duties, either because he's been knocked over the head and passed out, or he's just plain cowardly. And the XO and a majority of the officers can say, you are relieved from duty, and we are going to carry out our mission. And our mission in this case was to protect one of the states or the District of Columbia from a violent mob and insurrection. And it was not done. Wow. And he can be removed at any time. It doesn't. Need, they don't even need to involve the cabinet if they don't want. The Congress can reconvene right now, and 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 and, and create mm-hmm. some other body, any body that they want. Under the, they can create a five-man commission on the uh, uh, possible removal of the president, and they can call it Mickey fucking Mouse's fan club if they want to. Yeah. And those five people can get together and vote, and the vice president signs a letter, and that's that. Now he can contest it. He has three days on the fourth day, blah, 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 blah. But yeah. as long as those people keep saying, no, he's still unable, and then Congress agrees with a vote of two-thirds of those houses, he does not come back until they say so. That's the law. Until you have a it note from me, doctor. Done, yeah. It should be done, and those chicken-ass yeah. motherfuckers won't do it. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, only, only by the Facebook. way, by the way, by the way, uh, John, is that you, John Larkin? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I wondered who that was because we in a different light you look different. Yeah, <laughs> oh, your mic isn't on. Also, turn your phone sideways so we don't get you in the portrait view. There we go. That's so much nicer. Well, at least he can hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least he can hear us. What's uh, making What's making me ballistic is this notion I hear on TV for the past forty eight hours about well. There's only 12 days to go, so what's the big deal? No, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. There are consequences to people's actions in life. You know, well, and he's never had that. Well, he's never had l- that. Let me ask you this. Um, um, Marjorie said this to me, and I didn't know whether this was true or not. She said the reason you want to in, in, in impeach him is so that he can't run for another term. Is that true? <laughs> That's, That's true. Correct. And he can yep. be- he can be impeached. Okay, I'm going to explain this again. He can after. be impeached. And he can be impeached after he leaves office. Yeah. Okay? Oh, really? There is yes. historical yes. precedent for that. Okay. The Senate impeached and held a trial right. for uh, a Secretary of War under Grant in the 1870s after he resigned. The impeachment failed, but had it not failed, and if in Donald Trump's case it were to be successful, after a successful impeachment, Congress can then, by majority vote, 
pass a concurring resolution that states that person is expelled from holding further high office for the remainder ah, of the Okay. All right. He can be barred from holding office for forever. And if the Republican Party had any sense, they would right. just get it done and they would have four years for these chicken ass fucking Trump people to forget yeah. about it. Yeah. And they would move on. I mean, mm -hmm. people that wanted to go to the top of the United States mm -hmm. Capitol building and run down the American flag and fly a Trump flag. And I don't have that from some joke. I've got that Michael Beschloss reported on that, the renowned historian <laughs> from direct mm -hmm. sources he got inside the cap. I mean, these people were really wanted to run down the American flag and run up a Trump flag. Fuck <sighs> you. I mean, fuck you. Yes. You want to have a fucking war about that? You can fucking get an army together now and commission me as a fucking captain. I am schooled in the art of war. I hold two fucking graduate degrees. And I'm able-bodied and willing. Fuck you. Alan, no Alan, fucking way I'll accept that. Alan has his hand up. Alan? So I learned something new, that the National Guard is part of the Army. Thank you. I, so you can, even an old old goat like me can learn something new. That's good. And Josh, if you go to CNN, you'll see video of people climbing the wall to with, with a Trump flag in their hand and trying to take down the American flag, so you are exactly right. Yes. Yeah. That was just a wall. They were going up the, up the, in, up the inside stairs. Yeah. What, what American would... That's would what they make snipers for. Accept that. I mean, I, you not, know, it's not the impeachment. Not I really don't care about the impeachment. Him being able to pardon himself is what concerns me. I don't think well, that's going to happen. Clear. I don't think he can do that. Court well, can. So. That, that's yeah. that's illegal and that that will never hold up but truckers I, I know it will never yeah, hold, hold up on. because it was debated in the yeah. constitutional convention and they asked themselves whether or not they should put it in and there are men on record in madison's notes saying hell no we can't put that in and they didn't put it in i mean if, if any true conservative far right wing can't even seem from the middle originalist justice would throw that out so fuck they fucking laugh at you for even fucking showing up and asking the question. We've got we've got uh, Josh's skivvies in a bunch on this I mean, one, if, boy. If, if, if you showed up, you should be disbarred for even fucking asking that. I think Charlie's hands yes, up. Yes, Charlie, and then uh, Trucker Steve. Yeah, it's even worse. They had dozens of zip ties. Yeah. What yeah. were they going to use those for? They were going to take the senators and congressmen in. In, as hostages and tie them up and who knows what the fuck they would have done with them. Yeah. Uh, st uh, Trucker Steve? It's, it's not over either. What do you think of these, uh, the chances of him possibly being charged with felony murder? They're looking into it right now. I, I wanted to ask Alan this. Can they charge him with felony murder? I, I don't know about felony Alan? murder. Uh, they can charge them with crimes against humanities with the COVID thing. They can charge mm -hmm. them with. Okay. They, they, a could, lot of they other could. They could. for Wednesday. They, they could charge him with manslaughter. I yeah, think. murder. I murder minimum murder, manslaughter. Murder. Yeah. So murder, you need. In his mind, he has to have forethought that he's going to go out mm -hmm. and kill somebody, another human being. That's what murder is. Oh, okay. Well, that's first degree. Let me ask Kathleen something. Uh, is she, is she, she has a son. How, how old is your son now? Fifteen. Fifteen. He saw this happening, didn't he, on TV? Yep. What was his reaction? You know, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm much what my daughter said, too. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> and, you know, and it. I mean, he was watching it on TV, but I was telling him what, you know, the... You know, I have friends that are conservative, and I have friends that are middle of the road, and I have friends that are liberal. But I, what blew me away is what all the Christian folks were saying. They were the ones coming up with all the conspiracy theories about um, Antifa and moles and Black Lives Matter. And I, what I wanted, you know, what I wanted to say was, you know, your lack of discernment is concerning yeah yeah but you know what i didn't even waste my time responding to any of it it's just a waste of time because they're so focused on whatever stupidity 
or ignorance they're focused on, mm-hmm. why waste my time? Right, right, right. Uh, but, did you guys see the video? Yeah. Wait a minute, what? What did you say? Uh, uh, and then, the, Ray, the, what? The video that uh, Donald Trump Jr. did backstage in the y- tent? Yes. 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 Yeah. While all this was going on. Fucking disgusting. Yeah. I, I, I think it was Big before. Fucking was, it, was it before? I think, yeah, I think it was. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Ray. Uh, well, first about the Christians. I mean, it's, it's so Christ-like, isn't it? The way they act, just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and also, um, th- what about Giuliani? I mean, he was explicit. Yeah. When he mm-hmm. said, yeah. "Oh yeah." I mean, there was no equivocation there. No. I mean, well, I, and, what were the and, and he was he said, combat. combat. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Trial by combat. Yeah. Most people take combat. that seriously. Exciting a riot. He needs to. He need. He needs to. He needs to be arrested. Who? Uh, Giuliani. Giuliani. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. I'm getting myself a cough drop. Uh, uh, yeah, Julie. Well, I didn't. I didn't. You know, I. Uh, I turned on the Trump speech, and then I kind of just turned it off. You know, it was. My, it's my normal nature that when he starts going, I just can't even listen to him. Because he can't even read well, you know. It, yeah, yeah. Put put your fingers in your ears, and so I didn't watch the whole thing, so I didn't see the stuff exactly as he said it. But from what I'm told, it was all very incendiary. Oh, I watched yeah. the whole thing in my mouth. Ma- I was just, okay. So I what did Trump believe. tell them to do? I, what were, I watched what, it driving up the road, and I almost ended up in a ditch because I, when I heard him say, "I will walk with you," yes, and I will go with you. And, and I thought, is he gonna get? Is he gonna walk down the street with a Bible in his hand like he did the last time? <laughs> he didn't. He no, just went he back didn't. He turned around. He got in his fucking bulletproof car and let all the hand fishers go up to the fucking oh, the, sure. the goddamn Capitol. And, and when you give all those, you know, swamp people the 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 ammo to go do that shit. They're going to do exactly what they what, did. What, what they did, here's what happened, is they, they, they all these networks have been making a big deal out of, oh, well, you know, they uh, there was this company that does facial recognition, and they did facial recognition on some of the people that were in there, and they found that they were people from Antifa. There we go again, right? Mm-hmm. Well, this company had to come back and say, no, we didn't find anybody from Antifa, but we did find white supremacists. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so if you want to, Fox, Fox even said that. Yeah, well, Fox, uh, given an app, a, a plethora of information, decides to make a a stand. Well, you know what else is pissing me off? It's all these Republicans and Fox and Rubio and Cruz and all these motherfuckers are out there pissing their ass now. Oh well, this whole shit. Oh, you know. I I was there, but I, I tried to do what I can. Now I'm against it. Now I'm against it. Now. It, all these turncoat motherfuckers. Well, it's what they it's what they call uh, it's what they now all of a sudden he's he's a bad guy. Twelve days before he's out of out of out of the office, he's he's a bad guy. It's it's seeing God on your deathbed is really yeah, what it amounts yeah. to. Screw every one of them. Yeah. Screw every one of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean Satan is as Satan does. <laughs> yes, uh, Jeff. I <laughs> thought of people remember this the next election. Yeah, Jeff. I, I thought that if it had another purse, another person, not the president, but a, somebody else, would have actually sat there and and said everything that he said, and 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 organized this group, and com- got him to come out here, this guy would be arrested today. Oh, he would. He wouldn't be sitting in the way. No house. doubt about it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Did, did you guys right. see? You see Lindsey Graham get hassled or yeah. down the, the the airport? Yeah, right well, after that. Yeah, but who did he get hassled by? I think he got hassled by Republicans. Pro-Trumpers. Oh, pro, Republicans. Pro-Trumpers, yeah. Pro-Trumpers. Who, who felt yeah, he, had, he had turned coat. Um, yeah, exactly. Traitor! Yeah. Traitor. Yeah. yeah. They kept asking where Mike Pence was when they when they took, when they they took were in the Capitol. They kept yeah. asking yeah. the security yeah. guards where Mike Pence is, Pence is because they wanted to go get him for being a traitor. They wanted to hang him. Yeah, yeah, they're going to hang him out on the front. This was and anyone. Trump doesn't care. Trump hasn't talked to him since. I think this seems to be anybody who Trump had done a tweet, bad tweet about, yeah. you know, were suddenly subject to all of this. 
Now, we have the president. Not only does he not have a – they did away with his Twitter account for 12 hours. And then tonight they announced they are permanently doing away with it and depriving him of an account. All right? However, Facebook he has another opportunity, and that is – as the president, he has his own website. Yeah. Well, he has no, a, but they stopped him. He, they yeah, delete, he tried to do that, and he, they deleted them. And then a friend of his gave uh, one of his cabinet members gave Somebody him the password else. to his account and tried to make and put Donald Trump's picture, and they banned that account also. <laughs> yeah, he tried POTUS, he tried yeah. White House, he tried them all. Yeah, you know, uh, and and you could say, well, gee, that's not fair. The president has to be able to say his piece. No. Not if it's going to endanger the public, which his actions yeah. have done. He's shown himself to be irresponsible in that fashion. So you why get social your... media acting before the government, oh, but... like you know, like Josh is talking about? Nobody's doing anything, but you know, that social media steps in. By why the way, they by, they are? by the way, and I, I, I know it must drive you crazy that Holly's first name is Josh, Josh, um, <laughs> but Josh Holly had his contract with Simon and Schuster um, done away with. He's uh, just an opportunist. Well, Simon and and, and he went on and he said, "Well, this is they're being they're being Nazis, they're being fascists, they, you know. Good. No, they're not. Good. They're being business people who own a book company who who hired you because and said they put out your book because they thought it might sell some some copies. But they know now it won't, and they don't want to waste their time with it. They have the right to say we're not going to publish your book, and it has nothing to do with freedom of speech. Yes, yeah, I Robert. I, I, it's hard as it is. I tried to put myself in the shoes of a Trump supporter who showed up at the Capitol building, having been spurred on by the president, only 24 hours later to hear him say, that the people that were involved should all be arrested. Yes, yeah. right. Know, I got to think to myself, what the fuck? You know, I just got set up. Yeah. So not only when he gets out of office, there are a bunch of Iranians wanting to kill him. Uh, but uh, now you got some white supremacists who probably aren't too happy with him either. Yeah. You know, yes. Uh, yes, Alan. So I'm always joking and sarcastic, but I heard... Donald Trump's daughter say, Daddy, are we going to jail? And he said, no, honey, you and your brothers are going to jail. I'm going to Russia. <laughs> I hear that Donald Trump Jr. at that rally said some pretty incendiary things yeah. as well. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Criminal. Criminal. I just want to see the P-tape. I mean, that's... Well, I, I want to see the whole family incarcerated, to tell you the truth. You know something, I... They peed and poop all through the Capitol. They should be. <laughs> they should actually, I think, as their penalty, be forced to fly coach for the rest of their life. Ooh. <laughs> you know, Donald, Donald Trump Jr. reminds me of Doofy in uh, the Wayans Brothers scary movie. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, yep. It... it, it, it the, it, it, it to me it is just it's scary how close we came and because we came this close is the warning call we should have that this could happen again and that yeah. it might actually become a norm rather than just an <laughs> odd incident that well, they may do it's that. gonna happen on the 17th the 17th yeah i'm telling you what's happening not... what's happening the 17th do i know about it is it an, an antifa meeting did i miss it <laughs> You don't remember? <laughs> You're in charge. The seventeenth. Because yeah, they said that there's going to be another. Uh, they're already they're already here in chatter already that there's going to be another gathering on the seventeenth in yeah. Washington. They were talking about the twentieth, but now it's going to be the seventeenth. And they're talking they're talking about all states and their capitals. Yeah. Not just we not had a just riot here in Austin. On Wednesday. Yeah, they're they're trying to get everybody pumped up to go to their state capital. And to start causing commotion. Well, unless we clamp down on these people now, in this instance, mm -hmm. uh, yep. we're going to see a lot more of them. I mean, that guy who was in Nancy Pelosi's office with his feet up on her desk and his uh, American he flag. Got arrested. 
He got arrested. He got arrested today, today arrested. because arrested. because he's he's an egotistical idiot who took his picture and said, "Look at me." And I think was he the one? There was one guy. It might have been him, but there was one guy at least who had a picture of himself taken, and he had his his uh, lanyard from work yeah. around his <laughs> neck. And when his boss saw that lanyard, they fired him. <laughs> you know. That noise. Oh, hey, uh, I think it's uh, John Larkin. John, he's got noise around him. John, John, put yourself on mute. Like X Files. Is, is my speaker working? Yeah, yeah, yeah but oh, okay. the, 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 put, I'm on mute and I'm making a hey, lot of noise. Next time, what? John buys, put on mute. It has to bring you slice Wait a minute, for Hold on a second. Put it on mute. Put it on mute. Put it on mute. Okay, when you're not noise. there. Okay. You don't know. Huh? <laughs> I can do it. From here. I'll do it from here. Okay. 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 I'll mute you. Okay. So anyway, um, uh, we're... you know that's the beauty of the Trump supporters' pride. I mean, they go in there unmasked. Look at me. I mean, and they're all getting wiped out. It's a beautiful thing. Well, also, and I mentioned this last night, and I think we can all know this is going to be true. This may be a major super spreader event. Oh, yeah. Oh, if only. I think so. I oh, think yeah. so. I they, they, they weren't wearing masks, and they're yelling and screaming and spitting and spewing, and uh, they, they're asking for it, you know? They're really asking for it. Darwin, yeah. Darwin at work. Yeah. yeah. And no, room, no room in the hospitals for them. Nope. No, sorry. No room. Is this the basket of deplorables that Hill that uh, Hillary exactly. was talking about? Exactly. Uh, this is not a basket. This is a whole bushel. <laughs> you know. Hillary was right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a whole bale of deplorables. Uh, but I mean, what happened the other day is scary by its dimensions. <laughs> you know. I mean, what happened was. I mean, just the fact that a president of the United States, in order to protect himself and to have himself stay in office, and uh, encourage people to do what they did, is so scary, we maybe have to come up with some new constitutional amendments to make sure this kind of thing never happens and that we're protected against it if it does. You know? They really have to remove him from office. They I mean, I, I think I think we have plenty in place. We I think there's enough in place. Yeah, people who yeah. won't use them. Just and, yeah, and, 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 and that's the problem. I mean, the they're they're not being used. I mean, the well, they had a year ago they should have so, removed it from office. This is not much. I mean, this is not much different in some ways. I mean, from I mean, his failure to put down an insurrection. Yeah, is fucking appalling. I mean, at, at Shays Rebellion before the Constitutional Convention, mm -hmm. it scared people so bad that it was the final stepping stone to a Constitutional Convention to abandon the Articles of Confederation. Mm -hmm. After the new government was was instituted in the Whiskey Rebellion, I mean, Washington said, "I'll fucking take care of this shit myself." Yeah. Okay, and 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 put down American citizens with with lethal force i mean these people show up at another fucking rally they want to protest it's fine they can walk around in circles they can hell no we won't go it can even get a little rowdy and they can say stupid shit and i mean they can go way up way up to a line and they can even go a little past it but i tell you what at some goddamn point when when when, when you're in the united states fucking capital mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just telling you the fucking police could have mowed those people down yeah with automatic yeah. weapons, and I'd have fucking slept fine. Yeah. I, I always thought Not a problem. What and if Throw you don't think Washington has been okay with that, then you need to read your fucking history book because it no matter whether they were he Democrat, Independent, or Republic. Yeah. I always thought that if you tried to attack the White House or the Capitol, you were a dead man. Yeah, I always totally. thought that. You well, would be. Well, isn't there a case? Wasn't there a case of that That's a for couple sure. of years ago, where some woman climbed the fence and it ran towards the White House and they shot her dead? I, I seem to remember something like that. Well, I mean, but but like if if you're, and I know people are gonna say, oh, we defeated these people, or what? If you're Al Qaeda or ISIS or any of these other fucking groups, why are you not already saying, okay, so it's pretty clear to me that there isn't any crash button that goes on in there that someone hits 
in, in a bad situation that just fucking rolls people out like you wouldn't believe in 10 or 15 minutes. We've got hours and hours here, so all we got to do is pick a day, keep our big secret. Yeah. A couple hundred of us just all storm the barriers and, and everything with our weapons, and we'll get in, and we'll just do it on one of the busiest days of the year for Congress and make sure they're all there, and we can mow people down. And Fuck, it'll be three or four hours before the governor of Virginia can send in his fucking National Guardsmen they had to call in from home and make yeah. sure you eat some fucking cereal before you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, you know, at, look at what they wear did. Wear two pairs of socks because it's fucking cold outside. And, look at what they did with a the three-week By the way, by the way, by the way, I, I don't, I, he, 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 I muted his, uh, his phone, but uh, John appears to be on a bicycle or something. Yeah. He just ran a red light. Yeah. Oh. Now fix your mask. Put your mask over your nose, man. <laughs> yeah, really. <clears throat> You're spewing COVID all over the place. Yeah. 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 I've got oh. you. I've got you muted there. Uh, uh, it's a skateboard. Oh, it's a hoverboard it's a or something. <laughs> it's a hoverboard. <laughs> it's a hoverboard. Oh yeah. John. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that. That I mean, General McCaffrey went on Morning Joe the morning after. And said basically what I just said was, if this few of people can completely overrun the capital, mm. okay, three weeks notice. Yeah. Easy, what? Right? Why? Why can they not? What's next? What? And it's not put down. What will you accept? Can, mm. Well, you but you you, know, you got to remember. They go yeah. into the Supreme Court building and assassinate all nine justices at one time, and completely remove one third of our government. Could they? Could they just push their way into Langley, into the FBI building, into the NSA? Well, we're very lucky. Apparently, all yes. Our national security apparatus in an hour. Is it that fucking easy? Yes, yes. I mean, if the president is behind it. I mean, right? Is it? I mean, is it that fucking easy? But no, but you, you, so you know, you. I'll tell you that what. The what, vice president yeah. of the United States but, had to get on the phone from his little fucking bunker they got in there for him. To, to beg for the National Guard to come? No, but you the, know we have to do... The ass chicken-ass motherfucker-in-chief couldn't yes. do it? We have to look at the enormity of this situation, though. Uh, we're lucky it didn't become more. There could have been yeah. some some senators killed. In fact, yeah. uh, there no, were yeah. some stories that there were people planning on doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. And, well, they found uh, a truckload of bombs. And guns no, what right about the bombs at the DNC and RNC? Right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not a it's not a crazy hypothetical <laughs> to say what would have happened if, by some happenstance, Bernie Sanders were to have been walking out of the men's room, unbecoming <laughs> when all these people walked by. I mean, what do you think they'd have done to somebody like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I'll tell you something. I am more afraid of this than what happened on 9/11. Yeah, me too. Because oh, what happened too. on 9/11 was uh, was was from the outside and whatever. This was an inside job, okay? Yep. This was the president of the United States asking for a coup to keep him in office. That's basically why he did it. Yeah. And I mean that it just goes beyond anything. What uh, speaking of kids, did you tell him uh, that Adrian know what was going on, uh, Brian? No, no, but the other two kids, <clears throat> it's hard to show them I show them this and I tell them what's going on, but it's hard to show them this when they don't have any kind of baseline. You know, they don't know what normal is because they've only seen Trump in in, in office and then doing shame. this stuff. So there's no, I keep telling them, dude, this never happened before. This has never happened before. Right. And yeah. So it's hard yeah. for them to understand because this is all the chaos they've, they've noticed. Put it, in my perspective, put it in my daughter's perspective, she was there last year. She went on the D.C. trip last year and had seen all this stuff. So she in went into the Capitol and saw she it. She was in the Capitol. Yeah, I mean, the, the wonderful thing about the Capitol is that for all the work that goes on there, you can go in and sit in the gallery and watch the wheels of, of the yeah, country. She was, they turning. were there doing the, the, the eighth grade tours a couple years ago, two yeah. years ago. And that's one of the reasons it was so easy for them to get in. Uh, but, I mean... Uh, well, yeah, but... They knew that all that shit was coming. Oh, well, no, so they, 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 yeah, they yeah. had closed the doors, obviously. This is, this is what the problem is, is they knew this shit was coming. And it was happening right down the street. That's the problem. Yeah. They knew this shit was, gonna, was going on for two, two weeks now, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. that was, that's the biggest problem. 
Right. Yeah. Trump tried to get the military to do a military now, coup. If what, if what happens what Josh says and they do a surprise attack, fuck us. We're screwed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're screwed. Just, I mean, just just all this just horse shit with, well, but about the election, about the election, about the but 83% of the people that are Republicans that voted, they don't believe the results. Well, let me fucking tell you something. Who cares? Okay? <laughs> That's why it's set up as a republic. Because the founders knew that the people would do stupid shit like that. That's why the people were sent there to say, I don't care if 83% of the people believe that. We're not fucking doing that. That's ridiculous. We've seen the evidence. Everything is fine. Okay, it's not a pure democracy. Just because 83% of the Republicans that voted for Trump don't believe that the election was fair doesn't mean we got we have to have a commission well a hundred percent of the fucking people that voted for joe biden i'm pretty sure think that it was fair so a hundred is greater than 83 <laughs> if we're gonna go by democracy yeah. instead of republic then we fucking win i've that's been wa- that's I've, how yeah. they feel i've that's been watching i've been watching um, um uh, newsmax and oan to see how they were parsing this thing and oh, what they sure. constantly did was well what about all those democrats that were m- protesting in Seattle. So and I just wanted to be able to bitch slap these people and say, not the same thing. Right. Not where right. not not nearly the same thing. And forget about your what about ism. What about this? You know? Well, I mean, I mean uh, let's take this on the face of what it is and not suddenly go, well, you know, the Democrats had their I mean, people and that's, in me. And that's true. And I, I and I'm comfortable with everything that I've said because I never said that if if the police would have pulled on a person at a fucking Macy's who was raiding the place in a riot and he had turned around and punched a police officer in the face and they'd have whooped his fucking ass, I wouldn't have had any problem with it. Listen, I was in the middle like of I one of... I wouldn't have had any problem with it. That's the middle, what the police do. I was in the middle of a major riot when I was at the uh, Republican convention in Chicago. And you could say, well, look, see, you did what they did. No, not exactly. To begin with, the police rioted in that case. And secondly, we were trying to save lives. That was the object there. The object of most of the stuff that went on during that time period, and there, I was at a couple of other demonstrations that turned a little ugly, okay? But what we were protesting was we didn't want any more people killed in Vietnam. We tried to save lives. What was wrong with that? Well, and and as violent as those protests may have gotten, and some of it probably was out of hand, you still never advocated for the violent overthrow of the fucking government. That's right. Right. Okay. You never said we're going to fucking take Nixon out by force and put in somebody else because we just don't like him. I mean, you know. And we never had that thought either. And I was in on a lot of those planning meetings and things like that. Nobody's mentality even went in that direction. (laughs) And, and and I know that we know that no one ever said that. And you know how we know? Because the FBI and everybody else spied on and infiltrated and wiretapped these people to high heaven. And if they ever had said it, you can bet your ass they'd have had them locked up. Right. Because that's what they wanted them to say. Yeah. And they'd have blasted it all over the news so that they could use it against them to destroy their argument. So you have irrefutable proof that the violent overthrow of the government was never yeah. discussed. Hey, because they I, wanted to paint those people as anarchist and communist and every other thing, and they would have done it if they'd have had the evidence. And they didn't, because it didn't happen. Yeah. That's why it's different. And also, this was incited by the President of the United States. Yeah, entirely different I mean, animal. I, yeah. This is a different thing. The President of the United States caused this. That's a huge, mm-hmm. that's a complete, that's a that's unacceptable in my mind. So I, I'm just wondering something here. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But Kathleen, how, you've got COVID hair, right? That thing's just been growing since COVID started, right? How long oh, is it? It looks ter- it looks hecka long. It's long, but, you know, I'm a friend of mine. In a couple of weeks, she's going to give me my curls back. Oh, okay. All right. Because <laughs> Yeah, I, because I'm tired of the Marsha Brady straight. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're lucky to have now, a full now back, head now, of hair. Now back to the depressing part of America. I just, I thought. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, it's just, I mean, I, Mar Marjorie is saying that she's just so upset by this, you know, and she can't get over being upset by it. And I said, well, turn off MSNBC for a while, totally. okay? Yeah. You know, just give yourself a little break from this. Uh, but, you know, I, I have been always very questionable about America and the way it does things, even from when I was a kid. You know, I wondered why we had slavery at one point in this country and why things were still terrible in the South at that time. And anybody that would say to me, oh, we're the freest country in the world, I went, have you been to some of those other countries? You know, have you been to France? Have you been to England? You've been to the, the Nordic countries? Uh, you want to talk about democracy? Go there. Totally. You know, uh, we uh, have a democracy... With a uh, uh, with a with a butt right after it, you know, or it, we're democratic except, yeah, and and we've always had this egotistical feeling about ourselves, and I always felt that terrible things could happen in this country, but I never saw this coming. I never thought it would get this bad. I didn't think anybody who was president had enough power to be able to pull this kind of thing off. But we also never had any other president who was e as egotistical and as self-serving as this president. And believe me, that's the kind of job a dictator would love to have. So it's surprising it hasn't happened till now in, to this extent. You know, we've had some terrible presidents, but for entirely different reasons. He had no respect for the Constitution. I don't. He's shown that for four years. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he's read it. I mean, no respect for anything. He never, no respect for the American public. No. No. Okay, because if he did, he would have saved their lives by doing something about COVID when he first saw it rear its ugly head. Okay. What did Gary Shandling say? Help me, I'm on fire. Put yeah. me out. <laughs> Put me out. Yeah. yeah. He's a right? very, very egotistical because the person was totally. running around going, help me, I'm on yeah. fire. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it just, um, it, it's, I'm sorry I had to see this, you know. Uh, I agree. I think about Ronnie who died uh, la late last year. And I'm thinking about, <laughs> well, she's missing all of this. And I'm going... Eh, maybe she's better off, you know? Yeah. Maybe she's better off. And she thought it was terrible yeah. when she left, Yeah. you know? But mm -hmm. uh, uh, to see this is just, it's just terrible. And, and uh, this, is, this is not what we expected this country would turn into. And it has. And I, what, what scares me is these people are out there, okay? They're out there and they're waiting and they're still thinking about it, Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think they're going to give up. Hey, there's there's uh, John Larkin. He is now home, right, John? Yeah, I made it home. <laughs> my phone died. Oh, it did. Where's oh, my, okay. Where's my slice? Yeah, where's our slice? <laughs> and 75 million people voted for this guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. yes, that's the other scary part about it. But I'm wondering, of the 75 million that voted for him, how many? What are what are they thinking today? I mean, are they all resolute about him? Or how many are still on his side after what went on? Oh. Uh, I but think there, there are people that feel that the election was stolen. And the reason they think it was stolen is because Trump told them it was stolen. Otherwise, yeah. they wouldn't mm -hmm. think it was stolen. They wouldn't have the notion. But Look, besides those people, do, how many people are going to abandon him now who would have been with him the day he left? <laughs> giving him the shot for maybe another presidency if he tried. I don't think, I think a lot of people are going to abandon him now or they're not going to want to admit that they like him. But his attitude and he, what it, the, the harm he's done to this country and the divisiveness and so on is going to be with us for a long, long time to come. Yes, Jeff. I heard something that somebody said that 20% of the people will still support Trump. 20? No matter what. He oh, said it. He could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and they'd still Fifth support him. Yep. This Those is your proof right sure. here. This is your proof. Yes. Uh, uh, um, Alan. And then and Robert. there's 21% of the country that are below average IQ. So those are the people. 
Jeff. Yeah, but Robert. Wife, beat, wife beaten hand fishers. Robert. I don't even give him that much credit. <laughs> On, on the other hand, I think we make a mistake if we if we think that the 70 plus million people that voted for Trump are all in favor of Trump. I know a good number of Republicans who voted for Trump because they'd rather have their fingernails pulled out than to vote for a Democrat. And they'll admit to you that they can't stand the guy, but they're just so anti-democratic and socialism and all the other, you know, all the other bullshit that well, they I, I hear. I don't know how anybody could vote for uh, anybody in the Republican Party after this. We I can't mean, hear you, Josh. I, I, Josh, you got to talk. I, how, I mean, yeah. I don't know how anybody could vote for anybody in the Republican Party after this. I mean, you might as well. I vote for fucking Stalin before I vote for one. No, you me too. With fascists, you might as well go all the fucking way and do it yeah. right. Josh, do you know people, though, that would only vote Republican even if it is Trump? I, I know those people. Ninety nine percent of the people I yeah. know are fucking okay. my parents. Like, yeah, they can fucking goddamn vote for the fucking devil himself if he were alive. Yes. So, so yeah. if everybody gives me their address, I will send them pliers that Robert mentioned, pulling out fingernails, and we can all pull out fingernails. Hmm. Hmm. No. Yeah. Somebody said here they're arguing back and forth on the chat about whether it was seventy one million or seventy five million. 74.1. 74.1. Okay. Here. And what, uh, Biden's up to about 80 million? Yeah. 81. 81 Over million. 81. That's pretty much a route, you know? Landslide. Uh, yeah, huh? Pull out their landslide. Now. Yeah. He said it's a landslide against Hillary. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, you know, it, it well, I, I'm. who knows where this is going to go? I, I don't think it's over yet. I think this is going to be more violence. Yeah, they 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 kept talking about the 17th social media. <clears throat> so you said before about the inauguration. Yeah. Yeah, they get they they need to do something about the inauguration because you know like Trump announced tonight that he's not going to be there, and that's not a signal also to have people go there that hey I won't be there you guys can do whatever you want you know. You that's know what I would I would do if I were them is I would. Uh, uh, since it's going to be at the Capitol again, you know, uh, I would. Uh, Security. <laughs> if I were Biden, I would say, "Let's go indoors." Yeah. You know, let's do it at the Supreme Court, someplace like that, privately. Do a very simple thing. I'll give my speech, and then I'm president. Because yeah. I think to do it outdoors, outside in that place where that took place, is maybe not <clears throat> the right decision to make. Uh, <clears throat> On the other hand, maybe you got to do what the what the Congress did uh, uh, night before last, and that was saying nobody's going to stop us. Yeah, We're going to take this vote that anyway. And the terrorists win. And and they did two amazing things at about what one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, they finally confirmed the new president of the United States. And the other miracle was that Dianne Feinstein was still awake. So, you know, uh, that, three forty-three in the morning. Three forty-three. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, and and I, it's the it's the best thing the Congress has done all year, right? It's it's like uh, it was their way of handling the whole thing. It really worked that day. Yeah, yeah, and they and they 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 did the right thing. Did the right thing. Anyway, hey, listen, this has been an exciting week. I'll tell you. And anybody who said that uh, 2020 was the worst year ever, welcome 2021. Well, I got news for you. It's still a shit show. Okay? And uh, we got the news today that, uh, that I may get my vaccination by April 15th. So I get, I get to pay my taxes, in which I'll be pulling my toenails out of my feet. And uh, then I get to uh, get a... A shot, but they say it may be earlier than that. But you know why? Because I'm an old fart. Mm-hmm. Well, if Biden gets in there, he's supposed to cut them all loose yeah. all at once. And how old are you, Jeff? Uh, 75. 75. So you get one too. You get a shot. Oh. I get a shot. Anybody <laughs> else here get a shot? No. 70. Huh? Oh, 70? Nah, you got to be 75. 70. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, uh, Robert. Thank you, uh, Charlie, once again. How many dead right now in the United States? Oh, yeah. I mean, 368,000. Uh-huh. And how many died 4, in Texas? 100. How many died in Texas? 
In Texas, we've got almost 30,000. Wow. How many were Republicans? Yeah, right. Thank you, Josh. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, I'll be here. Somewhere else, actually, but not oh. here. Uh, also, uh, thank you, Kathleen. Always great to see you, Schmoody. You know, it always makes my 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 heart flutter a little bit. Uh, 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 thank you, Trucker Steve, and your dog Rocky. Thank you to Alan. Thank you to Brian. Thank you to Ray. Thank you very much, Kevin. Always enjoy seeing you. And, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's uh, give a big thanks to. Uh, uh, Mr. Larkin, John Larkin, who was on his, uh, what was what was that you were on tonight? It was a... Uh, electric wheel. Electric wheel. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go. This is the uh, citizen panel. There they go. Okay, I was pushing the wrong button there, and I couldn't get rid of them. Uh, next is... Uh, Jack Bishop, he's here with The Intersection, and they're going to be doing another citizen panel, this time using Skype, with the Skype uh, word GabNet Live. That's how you get on to Skype on his show. Uh, we'll see you again. Let's see here. Well, I'll I see some of you Monday afternoon at 4, uh, but I'll see all of you back right here at the Ramble on uh, Tuesday night at 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time, or Eastern Standard Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her and wear a mask, okay? And be safe out there.